Good afternoon. And we do welcome you all to this service. So let's worship God. Where it wishes, you don't know where it comes from or where it goes. Supper. Just supper. Thank you, Lord, by whose word everything comes to be. Amen. Amen. This is our last meal together. Before I die. What do you mean? I'm going to be betrayed to my enemies. Arrested. And condemned to death. Don't be afraid. You know the way to where I'm going. We don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? the way, the truth, and the life. This is my body. This is my blood. I'm going to the Father. But I will always be with you. Now I must tell you that one of you here will betray me. quick. 
Rabbi, I will not fall away. I will lay down my life for you. Will you? I will. The service can be followed on the screens. Our responses are in yellow. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins, whose mercy endures forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Tonight we begin the great three days of our Lord's passion, death and resurrection. <clears throat> the journey from the supper table to the cross from the cross to Easter morning. We are followers in his way, exploring his truth, encountering his life. This is the night when Christ, the Lamb of God, gave himself into the hands of those who would betray him. This is the night when Christ gathered with his disciples in the upper room. This is the night when Christ, our Lord, gave us this holy feast that as we break the bread and drink the cup, we may here proclaim his holy sacrifice and come at the last to the great banquet in heaven. This is the night when Christ took a towel and washed the disciples' feet, showing us how to honour and serve one another in love. This is the night for watching and prayer. We give ourselves freely to the demands of these great days, confident that those who die in Christ will surely live with him. Our prayer of confession. God shows great love for us in that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith by saying together, Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon us and set us free from all our sins. Strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We will now have a time for reflection.
loving God, your son Jesus Christ has left us this meal of bread and wine in which we share his body and blood. May we who celebrate this sign of his great love show in our lives the fruits of the, his redemption through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We will now have the prayers of the people. Merciful God, on this, the night he was betrayed, your son Jesus Christ washed his disciples' feet. As we commit ourselves to follow his example of love and service, teach us humility. God of grace, hear our prayer. On this night, Jesus prayed for his disciples to be one. As we grieve for the divisions in the church, unite us. God of grace, hear our prayer. On this night, Jesus prayed for those who would come to believe through the disciples' message. As we take up the mission of the church, renew our zeal. God of grace, hear our prayer. On this night, Jesus commanded his friends to love, but he suffered rejection himself. As we open our hearts to the rejected and the unloved, fill us with your love. God of grace, hear our prayer. On this night, Jesus reminded his people that if the world hated them, it had hated him first. As we face our own fears, we pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. Give us your peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. On this night, Jesus loved his friends to the very end. As we open our hearts to all who face darkness tonight, we pray for the sick, those who mourn, those trapped by violence, addiction or pain. Give healing and hope. God of grace, hear our prayer. Faithful God, these are the prayers of your church. We offer them trusting and hoping in you. Hear and help us, challenge and change us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. While Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he reclined at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, Wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be, in to be told in memory of her. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they then counted out thirty pennies of silver, for then on Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, 
Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus directed them and prepared the Passover. a special celebration meal in your house this weekend, who would you invite? 
Who would you invite to spend a special Easter meal with you? In my house, it would be a mixed bunch. Relatives, friends, golfing buddies who have no faith, golfing buddies that have faith, a mixed bunch of people. But you know, that bunch would be no more mixed than those 12 who shared the celebration with Jesus. <coughs> 2,000 years later, we look at the story. History is built up about them. And we think they were special. There was something exceptional about them. <coughs> but they were ordinary men and following ordinary women who did most of the work in the background anyway. I mean, who prepared the meal? Ordinary men and women. Just think about that 12. Among those guests that Jesus had there with him was Thomas, a doubter. A pair of ambitious brothers, James and John, who came to Jesus and said, Hey, boss, when you come into your kingdom, can I sit at your right hand? Now, I'm not sure who they decided which would get it, the second place, the third place in the kingdom. That's where they were focused. A blusterer who became one of the pillars of the church. One who would let Jesus down. Dying three times that night, Peter. There was even a terrorist amongst them. Simon the Zealot. Maybe he's the one who had the sword they used. There was one who was seen by his fellow Jews as a traitor to the very nation. Matthew the tax collector. And of course, there was the one who had already agreed to betray him, Judas. And the rest would soon desert him completely and run away. But initially, for whatever personal reasons, all had chosen to follow him. And we know the end of the story. They didn't. It was the Passover meal, which was usually a celebration of the redemption of the nation of Israel from slavery in Egypt. But with the meal they had being held in secret and the events of the past week, plus what Jesus said as recorded by Mark, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. One who is eating with us now. There must have been a cloud hanging over that confused participants. Especially as Jesus talked about his last meal. I won't eat with you again until the supper in heaven, the banquet. I go to die. And you'll all desert me. I just wonder what was going on in their minds that night. These ones who thought they were special because Jesus had chosen them. They'd followed him for something like three years. Vowing they would never leave him. Never desert him. And a few hours later they all ran away and hid. Well, I would appear that John also followed him to the high priest's house. We don't know what John did when he was there. But as they passed the bread and drank in the cup, a ritual they had shared from time they could walk. Each of those 12, including Judas at this stage, would have been engaged in self-examination. Surely, he can't mean me. I wouldn't betray him. I'd never run away and leave him. What's he on about? 
Surely he can't mean me. And I'd imagine as they sat there, they would have eyed each other with suspicion and asked themselves, if it isn't me, then who is it? And what's he really on about? As we gather tonight in this upper room, in the dark, how do we respond to Jesus' call? How do we feel as he looks at us? The Eucharist, the communion, the Lord's Supper, the Mass, the breaking of bread. However it's called in all the churches, this is a familiar institution for us. But often I suspect we just pass over without giving it a thought. But tonight, tonight we're sitting in the darkness, we must give it a thought. As we contemplate the table, watched the video, heard the Bible readings. Tonight the whole centre is on this. And Jesus predicting what's to come. Paul's commentary and teaching in 1 Corinthians 11 has formalised what took place in that room around that table. Let's just go back there in our imagination. Looking into his friend's eyes, even though he knew they betrayed him, Jesus personally identified himself with the loaf broken by his own hands. We'll hear the words a lot tonight. But let's not forget them. This is my body given for you. And as he took the cup and blessed it, this is my blood my blood of the new covenant shed for your sins and for the sins of many. And we, 2,000 years later, are part of the many if we've accepted Christ as our Lord and Saviour. And remember, for a Jew in Jesus' day to remember was to actually be there. So when Jesus said, remember this, He's got us in the upper room with him. Because to remember, when the Jew remembered the Exodus, it was actually in their minds to go through the Exodus, to go through the Red Sea, to cross the Jordan, to spend 40 years in the wilderness. Do this remembering me. And as he looks at us, and says, you'll betray me. We ask ourselves, surely he doesn't mean me. Surely he doesn't mean me. But I look in his eyes, I say, yes, Lord, you're right. It is me. But thank you as you forgave Peter and said, do you love me three times? You'll say it to me over and over. Barry, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Then go and show it. Tonight, as we share the bread... and drink from the cup as we remember that first meal in the upper room let us ask ourselves what Jesus might be thinking he's here in spirit where two or more are gathered in my name I'm in the midst but if he was here physically and he looked into your eyes as he broke the bread and raised the cup 
and he's looking to my eyes as we participate in sharing the bread and drinking the cup. What would he see? What would he see? Christ has reconciled to us reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And you may pass the peace. Peace Lord be with you, with your neighbours. You can move around if you want to. Saviour Christ has taught us. We are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say one after the other. Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied. The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi? Jesus answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. The bread is gluten-free and lactose-free, everything else free. 
so you may eat it with confidence. We're doing in tincture tonight. I'll put the bread at the beginning of the table, begin the queue, break a bit off, give it to your neighbour with the words, Jesus said my body, keep it going right around, I'll be in both. Hold it, the cup will come around and each person holds their neighbour who dips theirs in and then eats when they're ready. That pretty clear? Okay. The body of Christ or the blood of Christ? Get a big bit of dip it in. Body of Christ broken for you. You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will they had sung a, a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Returning the third time, he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go, here comes my betrayer. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders. Now the betrayer has arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant high priest 
cutting off his ear. And Jesus said, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you, teaching in the temple courts, and you did not arrest me. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then everyone deserted him and fled. <coughs> Holy God, source of all love, on the night of betrayal, Jesus commanded his disciples to love one another as he loved them. We thank you for feeding us in this supper. service is usually later in the night so you'll go home to something but eventually you'll go home to your rest while we while we go home to our rest Jesus is taken to trial where he will be denied, be denied justice he will be made a scapegoat he'll suffer unjustly and he'll be degraded let us pray tonight for those who rights now are being denied justice or experiencing suffering and oppression wherever it's experienced. Let us thank God for the freedom and opportunity we have in this country to embrace and to celebrate Easter. Tonight, as we've heard, the betrayal is complete. Goodness has been rejected, evil appears to triumph, demons are laughing and dancing, the darkness covers the shame and is a symbol of human blindness. Let us go to our cars in complete silence in respect what happened to Jesus that night leaving him to face a long night in the hands of those who will terribly mistreat him. Maybe taking the time tonight to read the account. As we go, let us think about our relationship with him and the debt we owe. We here will return at 8 o'clock in the morning to take the next step of the journey. Good night. <coughs>